Hello, hello, my friends. I have another dedicated candle review for you today. We are going to be talking about Bath and Body Works number 33 limited edition. This was kind of, a, I don't want to say a surprise candle drop. We knew that it was coming, but this was part of two candles that were dropped approximately two weeks ago, I want to say, and they are giving their loyal customers the opportunity to name this candle. So, I am not the girl to probably be throwing out name suggestions for candles because I'm not that creative, but I'm sure that they will finally settle on a candle name if they choose to keep this fragrance around. So this is in the three wick standard 14 and a half ounce jar that Bath and Body Works is pretty much known for. The fragrance notes on this candle are espresso beans, warm vanilla, and lemon peel. Now, personally, I would maybe call this candle, like, I think what they're striving for is maybe like coffee shop lemon or I don't know, like lemon cake at the coffee shop. I don't know, you guys, I told you, I am not the person who should be naming this candle. But the fragrance notes that I predominantly pick up on in this candle, lemon peel for sure. To my nose, lemon and warm vanilla are probably the two most dominant fragrances. I personally don't really pick up the espresso bean note in here. Now, I do think Bath & Body Works can do some coffee fragrances quite well, or mm, I don't know, like Paris Cafe is the one that I think of that I'm like, yes, that is actually a really good coffee fragrance. Fun fact about me, you guys, I actually don't drink coffee. I like the smell of it, but I don't like the taste of it. Um, I'm more of a tea girl. But regardless, I like the smell of coffee, and Paris Cafe is usually the fragrance that I will measure Bath & Body Works against itself in terms of when they are claiming a fragrance has espresso beans in it. Now, we've seen a mashup like this with other espresso beans listed in the fragrance notes. We know the uh, pink lavender and espresso, which we all know how I feel about that one. It's one of my favorites. I definitely get a little bit more of that coffee note mixed with the pink lavender in that fragrance. But in this one, you guys, I'm not really picking it up. Very similar to uh, coffee and whiskey. I don't really get much of a coffee note or a whiskey note in that fragrance either. Um, so yeah, I think that they're kind of trying to ride this train of like having a coffee note listed in a fragrance. Maybe they're trying to like mess with our minds, but personally, I'm not really detecting a whole lot of espresso in here. Quite frankly, I feel like this is a fragrance that I have smelled before at Bath & Body Works. I am not your Bath & Body Works historian when it comes to fragrance, so I'm sure somebody else a little bit more well-versed in the history of this brand would be able to kind of make a better comparison. To me, it's smelling um, not as light as, say, they had like a lemon cupcake fragrance a couple of years ago, but it's not as dense to me as the lemon, is it ice lemon? Life, lemon pound cake, is it lemon pound cake? Um, it's not as dense and heavy as that one. I think that uh, warm vanilla accord in here kind of lightens it up a little bit, but it's kind of your, I don't wanna say run of the mill, but it is kind of just your standard vanilla, lemon bakery scent that Bath & Body Works doesn't do poorly. They do a pretty good job of it, um, but it doesn't feel like it's anything totally unique or something that I haven't smelled before from Bath & Body Works. That being said, I do enjoy the fragrance. I am somebody who loves lemon fragrances. So when I did see the lemon peel note in there, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle for me. So far, you guys, I'm gonna give this one mm, probably about a six and a half to seven in terms of strength and throw. I will tell you that the first two burns, they were pretty light for me. I was kind of like, oh, huh, this is strange because lemon fragrances from Bath & Body Works do tend to perform quite strong for me. So I was a little bit surprised about that on the first two burns. Uh, you guys know, if you've been with my channel for a while, I do tend to move my candles around and burn them in different, uh, like sometimes I'll burn them outside of a hurricane and then sometimes I will put them in a hurricane. I will pop a picture up of the hurricane that I use for this type of candle. I also use it for my Kringle candles. I purchased that for $10 at my local Marshalls. Um, and that's why I always say sometimes like the packaging, the packaging can suck me in, but if I don't really care for the packaging as in 
as is the case with this candle. I don't really like this packaging, you guys. I think it's pretty boring. Um, I can just pop it into a hurricane and then that kind of takes care of that. But anyways, um, the performance of a candle will definitely vary with the use of a hurricane and also where I am burning it in my house, which is why I'm saying that this is going to be about a six and a half, seven. When I burn this candle in a hurricane in my master bedroom, which has lower ceilings and is obviously a smaller room than my open concept living room, I definitely got, it, it almost seemed, um, it was a little strong to be honest with you in a bedroom setting. But when I moved it out into my living room, it seemed to be just perfect. Um, I don't know, there was something about it in a smaller bedroom that was just, it was coming off not rancid, that's not the word I want to use, but it just wasn't as pleasant as I thought it would be. I think it's, there's that warm vanilla mixed with the lemon peel and they're saying espresso bean, I don't know, maybe it is espresso bean. There's like a heaviness to it that can become almost too strong, especially once I get to the end of like, maybe as I get like two and a half hours, three hours into the burn, the end of my burn time is usually around three hours with Bath and Body Works candles, because I find that burning them any longer, I'm opening myself up to um, getting a sooty mess from their fragrances. So yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at like six and a half, seven. Um, it performs pretty well in my living room, um, too strong in the closed concepts. I know that I have some new subscribers here. So I always like to give the dimensions of my home, where I live, all of those things I feel like impact uh, where I am coming from when I am kind of grading a candle. So my home is approximately 20 years old. It is a single story, 1800 square foot home. I live in Arizona, so a pretty warm, well, it's warm right now. We'll be downright, you know what, <laughs> we're, we're frying away in the summertime. Give us a couple more months and we will be roasting in an oven. Um, but right now, general ambient temperature is around 70 degrees right now. Um, open concept living room with high ceilings. It opens up into my kitchen and then the bedrooms are more closed concept. So I always like to give that, um, give that information for all of you guys. I'm going to go ahead and lift up the candle real quick so you can see the flames because this is always an area of concern for me. This is usually Bath and Body Works at this point. The halfway point is usually when I start to develop really puny wicks, slow burning wicks. The, uh, the wax will pull out, but as you can see, I think you guys can see that here. The wax is getting a little bit murky. Sometimes that can impact the fragrance of a candle. So I actually had that experience with my beloved pink lavender and espresso that I, um, I actually just recently finished that candle. And it was so disappointing because it was altering the fragrance and the candle was not throwing as well. But so far, so good with this candle. Now, who knows what it's going to do in successive burns, which is why I always um, you know, encourage you to subscribe to my channel because I do have a monthly empties series where I talk about all of the candles that I finished up. And usually by then I can really tell you, Hey, this candle, it changed on me after halfway through the burn or after I did my review, this is what it did for me. So, um, if you are curious to see ever how my candles perform all the way through, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because, um, that definitely will help you out with a full opinion of a candle. But Overall, you guys, so far, it's, I feel like it's like, I don't want to give it like two thumbs down because it's not, it, it's going to be a one and done candle for me. It's performing well for me. Truthfully, I purchased this candle. What was it when they were running the, um, it was like 1275. It was like around a $12 price point. Plus I had a 25% off coupon. So I didn't spend more than $10 on this candle. And I feel like for $10, I'm getting my money's worth out of this candle, but I'm glad that I didn't purchase a ton of them. There are other lemon fragrances that I am preferring more right now. If you want um, candle combination suggestions for this candle, so this morning I have been burning this alongside um, coffee and whiskey. I am the type of person that I will usually burn a fragrance in my living room and then one in my bedroom, and I usually like those fragrances to complement one another. So yes, I've been burning coffee and whiskey in my bedroom this morning, and the two of them combined have been really nice. I also enjoy burning this with Kringle Candles Lemon Meringue Pie and their Lemon Sugar Marshmallow. I know you guys are like, please stop talking about that lemon sugar marshmallow. We know it's your beloved, but I love it, you guys. So if you want an all over lemon effect going on in your home, um, I would suggest pairing it with that. I don't know if you are hoping maybe for that coffee vibe, if you have a Paris cafe sitting around in your collection, maybe try pairing those together. Um, but yeah, 
it'll be one and done for me. It's okay. It's not one that's hoard worthy for me. Nothing really unique to the Bath and Body Works concept, but it's a decent candle. And if you have your eye on it and you um, have, if they have any good sales coming up soon, which Bath and Body Works seems to run a decent sale at least once a month, then I would go ahead and say, pick it up. If you pick it up in store and you, and you like the way that it smells, yeah, I'd say go ahead and get it. So I feel like that's it that I need to say about this candle for this week. It is National Fragrance Week, so make sure that you are stay tuned to um, following me over on Instagram, and I will try to keep you guys all updated here on my community page as well. Looks like a lot of our favorite brands should be running some specials this week. I do know that Homeworks is running a good deal this week. I did post a video about that on Monday for you guys. Um, I don't know really what Kringle is doing this week or Yankee, um, but I'm sure I'm sure all of them will be getting in on the act this week. So make sure you guys are all sticking to your budgets, plan accordingly. Um, if you like candle content and you're coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I love to talk all things candles here. I do dedicated reviews like this, empties, like I mentioned, I do hauls. I have a bi-monthly candle chat series. Um, and I also have a fun video that I do every month where I give an update on my candle collection and just encourage you to also prioritize enjoying what you currently own. So a little bit of some, a little bit of everything for everybody there. So um, let's see, hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps me out with the old YouTube algorithm. And I want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. Until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.